We're now going to solve quadratic inequalities algebraically. And this is doing it just like we did properties before, but we only need to focus on that specific piece of it, because we don't care about the graph. We get all the information we need just from the inequality itself. So when we graphed it, we got our graph first, and then we looked at the graph to get our answer. Algebraically, what we're going to do is we're going to take our function, and we're going to do two of the same things. So recognize this is the same inequality we did before, just to show the difference. But what we're going to do now is we're going to find the vertex, and then we're going to find the x-intercepts. And so what we're going to do is we're going to first start by finding h, which is minus b over 2a, so that's minus a minus 4 over 2 times a positive 1, which is 2. k is 2 squared minus 4 times 2 minus 5, which is 4 minus 8 minus 5, which is minus 9. So my vertex is at 2 minus 9. And what's important here is this value right here. The k value is what's really important about that vertex. Our x-intercepts, we just take our quadratic, set it equal to 0. In this case, it factors. So x is 5 and x is minus 1. And so we list these on a, just a simple number line. Here's 0, here's minus 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And our vertex is at 2, so we're going to put this dot right here. 1, 2, and I'm going to draw an arrow going down because it's at negative 9. I'm then going to put some filled-in circles on the minus 1 and the 5 because they are the boundary points, and it's an or equals, so they're going to be filled in when we're done. Now, remember that this is down, which means it's less than 0, which means this has to be up and this has to be up. It always alternates like this. And we want the one that's up. We want the positive one, so we shade here and we shade here, and our answer is, again, minus infinity to minus 1, union 5, 2, infinity. And we get our answer very quickly just by knowing the vertex and the x-intercepts. So I want to do another problem just to help emphasize this a little bit more. Suppose I have minus 2x squared is greater than 4x minus 1. Well, in order to solve a quadratic inequality, just like our rational inequality, we want a 0 over here. So we have to start by subtracting, or let's add 2x squared. No, let's subtract. We want to do this the right way. We're going to subtract 4x and add 1 to both sides. And I'll explain what I mean in just a second. This turns into minus 2x squared minus 4x plus 1 is greater than 0. So now we know that we're looking for positives. That's why I had to change it. So, we still start the same way. h is minus b over 2a, so we get minus a minus 4 over 2 times a minus 2. This is going to stay negative, but 4 divided by 4 is 1. So h is minus 1. That means k is minus 2 times minus 1 squared, minus 4 times minus 1 plus 1. So that's minus 2 plus 4 plus 1, which is 3. So I get a point at minus 1, 3. That's my vertex. And notice that the 3 is positive, which is what I care about here. My x-intercepts, though, come from this. So the x-intercepts, we take minus 2x squared minus 4x plus 1 equals 0. And notice that this doesn't factor. There aren't any factors of minus 2 that add up to minus 4. So we go straight to the quadratic formula. x equals minus a minus 4 plus or minus the square root of minus 4 squared, plus, because minus a minus, well, let's just write it in all the way, minus 4 times minus 2 times 1, all over 2 times a minus 2. Well, that's 4 plus or minus 16 plus 8, all over minus 4. 16 plus 8 is 24. So we get 4 plus or minus the square root of 24 over minus 4, which is 4 plus or minus 2 root 6 over minus 4, which is 2 
minus 2 plus or minus root 6 over 2. Now here's the problem. Where are those? We don't know exactly, but we do know what's directly in between them, because that's h. h is our vertex. So because we found the vertex and we have our points, so let's write our vertex again. It's, it was at minus 1, 3 is our vertex. If we draw a number line, we can put our minus 1 right here, smack dab in the middle. And we put our x-intercepts. Let's call this minus 2 plus root 6 over 2 because it got bigger. And this one's minus 2 minus root 6 over 2 because it got smaller. I'm going to put open circles here. And this arrow is going up because the 3 is positive, which means these arrows on the outside are going down. And we wanted to know, remember, when our minus 2x squared is bigger than 4x minus 1. So it's a bigger than, which is why I had to leave it as a greater than. So that's this middle region right here, which means my final answer is minus 2 minus root 6 all over 2 to minus 2 plus root 6 all over 2, with open parentheses because it's not an order.